Hey everyone, my name is Alex from Alex Pro Mix, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Ground Control Sphere with Stream Deck, which is currently a free application that works on your mobile device, whether that's a phone or a tablet. Monitor controllers can be really expensive, especially as you get into the immersive mixing world. However, Ground Control Sphere allows you to have an immersive virtual monitor control that can be accessed at your fingertips. Let me show you how this works. All right, for starters, we're gonna to go to elgato.com and select Downloads. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna download the Mac version of the application. That's gonna be this one right here, Stream Deck. Now, I currently don't have a controller by Elgato that supports Stream Deck. I use iPads for Yukon control, and you guys have seen that in my other videos. However, I am gonna use the iPad as a controller with Stream Deck. So now that we've downloaded the application, let's go ahead and install it. This is basic procedure. Elgato Stream Deck is installed on our computer. Now let's go ahead and configure that on the iPad. In the Apple Store, I'm gonna search for Stream Deck, click search. I'm gonna choose Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. Okay, once the application is installed on your iPad or mobile device, click open. And let's get started. And this is now where the Stream Deck application on the iOS device is gonna to talk to the computer. So I'm gonna select my computer, click Trust. And now both of these two applications are talking with each other, they're communicating with each other. There we go. The next step is to download Ground Control Sphere and its profile on Stream Deck. For that, I'm gonna click on this icon, search for Ginger Audio. And here we have two options. Room, which is a control room version for stereo sources, and Sphere, which is a virtual control room for immersive sources or multi-channel sources. We're gonna select this one, install, and install the profiles. Instantaneously, my iPad updated to reflect the controls found on Sphere. Now that we have Stream Deck on the computer and also on the iPad, let's launch Sphere. All right, good. So we have Ground Control Sphere launched. Now the next step is really simple, which is going to be to enable Stream Deck as a controller for Sphere. For that, you're gonna to go to Settings, Controllers, Stream Deck Settings, and click Enable. And that's it. Once the status is green, you're good to go. So we're gonna click A, Apple Music. It's gonna reflect on the iPad. Select B, Logic Pro, that's gonna reflect on B. One of the limitations of the free application is that they only give you six slots to choose from. So on the iPad app, you're gonna see that these other options are grayed out. If I click on them, it's gonna ask me to sign up, register, or buy the version. So how do you configure this? What if we wanted to add the volume knob to this configuration? Well, it's really simple. So I'm gonna select main, put that on this slot, main down. This is the main volume knob, up and down. And now we have input A, input B, volume plus, and volume minus. So by using my iPad, I can click input A, input B. I can turn down the volume by pressing on this button, and I can turn up the volume by pressing on the main plus. Now, if I unlock the full version, I'll have more options here on the iPad. And if I buy an Elgato controller with knobs and buttons, then I have even more functionality but pretty simple for being able to use a free application that works with this virtual room controller. If you're new to immersive mixing and you're shopping around for interfaces, speakers, and the like, I highly recommend taking a look at Ground Control Sphere. My name is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Peace.